Good morning, and welcome back to the Shard Cross Channel. Right now, it is 9.31 a.m. on the 9th of April. Today, we are doing something, of course, ahead of all of our other uploads already, or what will be our uploads already. Um, we're embarking onto a different path, it seems. And I never thought I'd be saying this, but we're checking out Immortal Disfigurement. The reason being that the boys in Shrine, mainly James um, of Shrine, are kind of providing me different impressions. And then, I mean, Blake Mullins of Disembodied Tyrant ended up helping uh, CJ and the boys out as far as mixing and mastering producing their newest single, There Is No Light. So I'm like, hmm, I wonder, you know, I like, I don't know, because beforehand I had my impressions, I was pretty dead set on those impressions, but just for the sake of doing it, just for the sake of trying to be open-minded, considering all variables in the situation that happened with CJ back in the day with One Ashore, um, and seeing where he is now, it seems that even my closest associates and friends in the scene um, seem to welcome him with open arms. So, we're going to go ahead and check out Drag Through the Inferno, and then there is no light. If you would like to provide any feedback on any of the videos on my channel, including these ones, and let me know your impressions um, upon the song, upon the music, upon the people behind the music, and uh, yeah, let's get into it. I smile at the dead. Let's go. Oh, 
<laughs> Is it not over yet? Okay. It's... God damn. Mm. All right. And now we check out the song that was more or less produced. Uh, created by Blake, yeah, produced, mixed, and mastered by Blake Mullins. So, I mean, now we know the people behind the final product of this music of CJ's new band. Um, so that, more or less, is the reason I'm checking this out, but let, we'll go ahead and talk everything afterwards. Yeah. <laughs> 
And that will be the two only, the two latest tracks from CJ McCreary's new project, Immortal Disfigurement. And I mean, over time, I will absolutely admit during the lifetime really of this channel, um, whether on the Anatomy podcast or in videos, I can pinpoint every point in time that I've mentioned him and had quite a negative review upon him and I've said certain things I've I've worded certain things but I haven't gotten to, gone into detail um, all I can say is that I've had my impression upon him uh, since the beginning of my channel uh, has nothing to do with the allegations that got him uh, displaced per se from Warner Shore kicked out of Century Media Records as well then um, there have been other things I've been hearing that created a negative impression of him over time for me. However, whether um, it be the fact that Derek of Mythful was willing to work with him, that Blake Mullins of Disembodied Tyrant was willing to work with him, or that James from Shrine said that he's actually pretty solid people, he's good people, um, kind of providing him a trustable impression, right? I am officially in this video going to say that I am taking a step back on any negative criticisms that I've had of CJ McCreary beforehand and to CJ if you want to I would love to get you on the Anatomy podcast maybe ask some questions um, tell your story as a musician tell your story as a vocalist and um, see if there are any things that I can go ahead and like clear clear the air of per se because, I mean, of all places, I would love to um, help, maybe help more people in the community to uh, build a positive perspective, um, build a more positive impression upon the person that they believe you to be. Because, I mean, of course, of course, with any situation when there are prior allegations, um, and, I mean, you did your apology video, you did your video saying that um you know certain shit happened and you explained yourself the best you could um and people were still the way that they were um including myself to for quite some time and that's me just being completely honest but i want to if you are willing to i would love to sit down talk with you um ask a couple questions maybe clear the air a little bit and uh yeah again tell your story so far talk everything immortal disfigurement and maybe even have the other boys on the podcast as well that way it's not frontman syndrome as fuck but <laughs> this has been sean cross doing another reaction here on the sean cross channel and just like the great eternal music machine people let's keep cranking